Hello, I'm Audumar Parker, and this is lecture 7 of the modern quarter. In this lecture, we are going to solve some numericals on lime soda process. In this type of numericals, generally concentration of different impurities or salts is given and asked for required quantity of lime and soda for given water sample. So here is the formula to calculate the quantity of lime that is calcium hydroxide required to soften the given water sample. So L that is lime required for softening 74 by 100. 74 is the molar mass of lime and 100 that is molar mass of calcium carbonates because we are converting the calcium carbonate equivalents to calculate the lime quantity. Here we are going to multiply this factor by calcium carbonate equivalents of these salts that is temporary calcium salts plus 2 into temporary magnesium salts permanent hardness producing salts carbon dioxide, acids like HCl or HCO4 or salts like KSCO3 and NSCO3 and subtract the salts like NaAlO2 that is sodium aluminate into volume of water upon 10 raised to 6 into 100 upon percentage purity of lime and here is one more formula which is for soda that is sodium carbonate so similar formula somewhat 106 the molar mass of soda upon 100 that is molar mass of calcium carbonate and these are the salts in terms of cac3 equivalent hardness we have to consider permanent hardness producing salts of calcium magnesium aluminium iron and as it's like SCL we have to add and subtract the salts like sodium bicarbonate or potassium bicarbonate into volume of water upon 10 raised to 6 into 100 upon percentage purity of soda. We'll discuss these formulas in detail in the actual rules or hints. So here are some hints to solve the problems on lime soda process. One must understand these rules to solve numericals. So let's see one by one. All impurities consuming lime or soda are to be converted first in calcium carbonate equivalents per liter. We know how to calculate calcium carbonate equivalents per liter. We learned that in lecture 2. The impurities such as sodium chloride, potassium chloride, SiO2, ferric oxide, ferric chloride, sodium sulfate and other such salts should be ignored as they do not consume lime or soda. So this salt should not be considered while calculating the soda and lime as they do not react with such salts. Calcium bicarbonate, magnesium bicarbonate, calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate should be considered as temporary hardness producing salts and to be taken for lime calculations only because such salts react only with the lime. The quantity of magnesium bicarbonate in terms of calcium carbonate equivalents per liter to be taken double for calculations. This is because one molecule of magnesium bicarbonate as you can see required two molecules of calcium hydroxide that is lime to convert into some precipitate form. Hence, we need to consider the calcium carbonate equivalents to the double value while calculating the lime quantity. 
the quantity of HCl and NaCO3 or other source like KCO3 in terms of calcium carbonate equivalents per liter to be taken half for the calculations. This is because as you can see two molecules of HCl required only one molecule of calcium hydroxide that is lime. So only half the concentration we need to consider while calculation. If NaCO3 or KCO3 is present in water, then the calcium carbonate equivalents per liter should be added in lime calculations and subtract from soda calculations. We need to add such salts in lime calculations because they react with the lime or consume lime and subtract from soda calculations because the salt somewhat act like the soda that is sodium carbonate so here it is sodium bicarbonate coagulants like sodium aluminate aluminum sulfate if used their calcium carbonate equivalents per liter should be calculated and taken into account as like this sodium aluminate should be subtracted from lime calculations and aluminum sulfate should be added in lime as well as in while soda calculating. So remember these rules. To simplify these rules, I prepared one table for you. Here it is. So these are the salts which consume lime and need to be added while calculating the lime and these are the salts which reacts with the soda and need to be added while calculating the soda and below this you can see the salts which need to be subtracted from the lime or soda one more rule you need to remember twice the concentration of temporary magnesium salts half the concentration for HCl or NaCO3 or KSCO3 we are going to consider so let's see the numerical water sample contains magnesium bicarbonate 43.8 ppm silicon dioxide 20 ppm sodium bicarbonate 12.6 ppm kcl 15 25 ppm magnesium sulfate 48 ppm carbon dioxide 2.2 ppm calcium chloride 55.5 ppm if 2 plus 2 ppm alcl 3 10 ppm we calculate the quantity of lime and soda for softening 50,000 liters of water so concentration of different salts present in water is given and ask for quantity of lime and soda required to soften 50,000 liters of this water so let's solve this numerical so make one table like this here you can add impurities that means all salts or acids here the quantity in ppm or milligrams per liter you can put as it is then one must check the all salts if they actually react with the lime or soda or not so we learn the second rule for that this salt do not react with the lime and soda and here you can found SiO2 and KCl like salts do not react with the lime and soda and should not be considered for calculation of lime and soda and no need to calculate the CAC3 equivalent such well. So next step calculate the molar mass of each salt and then calculate calcium carbonate equivalents per liter you know the formula concentration of salt 
into 100 that is molar mass of calcium carbonate upon molar mass of base salt that will give you calcium carbonate equivalents per liter so 30 for magnesium bicarbonate similarly calculate for each salt here you can see the salt sodium bicarbonate we learn that we are going to consider the half of the concentration hence here only I divided this value by 2 and magnesium temporary salt like magnesium bicarbonate we are going to consider the concentration twice hence I put here 2L here the requirement of lime and soda one more column you can add for simplicity so L means lime S means soda so magnesium bicarbonates consume lime only hence I put L and twice the concentration we are going to consider sodium bicarbonate consumes lime that we are going to add and behaved like soda hence we are going to minus this or subtract this from soda calculations magnesium sulfate consumes lime as well as soda hence i put n plus s carbon dioxide consumes lime only calcium chloride permanent hydrous producing calcium consumes only soda if we do plus salts consumes lime as well as soda aluminum chloride consumes lime as well as soda one must thing you must remember that if we do plus salts like if we oh twice or if we do o3 consumes lime as well as soda but if we three plus salts should not be considered while calculating the lime or soda if we three plus salts that means ferric chloride like salts we need to consider as impurities as they do not react with lime or soda so here we get which salts consume lime and which salts consume soda which salts need to be added in lime which salts need to be subtracted from so so one can use this formula directly or replace calcium and magnesium like ions with salts present in given water sample so let's put the values so 74 by 100 into 2 into 30 that is temporary hardness producing magnesium salt that is magnesium bicarbonate and the CAC3 equivalent that is 30 I put here plus permanent hardness producing magnesium salts and other salts we need to consider so here we mark such salts as L so all such salts we need to add there in the formula so let's 7.5 40 5 3.58 7.5 40 3.58 7.5 5 7.5 into volume of water that is given 50,000 liters upon 10 raised to 6 into 100 upon percentage purity of lime it is not given hence we need to consider that as 100% pure so when you calculate this you will get the quantity of lime in kilograms similarly we can calculate the quantity of soda required by using this formula 106 by 100 then put the values of soda here we marked them as s 
so all these quantities we have to add in terms of CSE requirements and this quantity we need to subtract remember so 40 plus 50 3.58 plus 7.5 minus 7.5 50 plus 40 plus 7.5 minus 7.5 50 plus 40 plus 7.5 plus 3.58 minus 7.5 into volume of water that is 50,000 upon 10 raised to 6 into 100 upon percentage purity of soda is not given hence 100% pure so here we will get the answer 4.96 kilograms of soda required for this water here is one more numerical to remember the steps the water sample was found to contain falling salts in milligrams per liter that means the same unit ppm and concentration of different salts is given calculate the amount of lime which is 85 percent pure in soda that is 80 percent pure required to soften 80,000 liters of water sample so first step check for any impurity so FeCl3 as I told Fe3 plus salt do not consume lime or soda and should not be considered for calculation all the other salts consume lime or soda hence for this salts we need to calculate the molar mass and then CAC3 equivalents and as you can see calcium sulfate permanent hardness producing calcium salts only consume soda MgCl2 permanent magnesium salt consumes lime as well as soda SCL like acid consumes lime as well as soda but one more rule you need to add here for SCL that is half of the concentration we need to consider hence I divide it here by 2 so put the values of L in the formula and for the soda as well and you can calculate the quantity of lime and soda like this so here the revised formula like this you can use L is equal to 74 by 100 and CAC3 equivalents of salts which consumes lime that is MgCl2 and SCL which only consumes lime this salt so there are CAC3 requirements we need to consider into volume of water upon 10 raised to 6 into 100 upon percentage purity of lime. So put the values and get the answer. Similarly for soda. So here are some numericals for practice. I tried to cover most of the salts to give you better practice so pause the video and solve these numericals thanks for watching see you next time